Hey guys, this is Manshock Sub LPs. I'm Sub, this is Crusader Kings 2, and this is Millennia in the Making episode 15. Hopefully, I got that episode count right. We are playing as King Otto of Bavaria, formerly Otto of the East Francian Revolt, formerly Duke of B Brunswick, formerly Duke of Saxony. So we've come up in the world a little bit. And uh, we're doing pretty well for ourselves. Unfortunately, we did lose the Duchy of Brunswick due to some uh, rather... Well, it wasn't poor planning. I mean, who could have expected that to happen? But we do still have a claim to retake it in a while. What we were currently planning on doing was sniping into this war here between the Sorbians and Great Moravia. We're just not too sure about getting involved because it may make us hostile to the Hungarian armies who are helping out the Sorbian forces. And the Hungarian armies are just huge. And I would prefer not to be hostile to them, to be perfectly honest. It's just, it's not a very good state of affairs. I had a bit of a click around to see if we could make anybody else vassals of ours, like we did with the, what was this, the Count of Galraa up here. But, uh, no. See, while there are separate counties here, such as the County of, uh, Fowls, if we come here and, well, he's at war, so he doesn't even count. But there's a guy up here, the Prince Bishop of Colne. We can see that he will not become our vassal because we're a distant realm. And that's because we're not connected to him in any way. And honestly, that's kind of a good thing that that's in the game, that that doesn't happen because it would just fragment our realm even more. So let's unpause the game, pump it back up to the second lowest speed. I know we're really racing here. And uh, see how we go. So the options for sniping into this war was to either take Znojmo, from the uh, King of Great Moravia, because that is a uh, de jure part of the Kingdom of Bavaria, as you can see here. It's the same color. Or we come up here and take Nassani. Or we'd have to take the Duchy of, what was this Duchy? Mycen? Yes, the Duchy of Mycen off of the uh, High Chief here. And that would give us Nassani and uh, Luzika. It would also make it a lot easier to take out the High Chief in a latter war. But more importantly, it would connect us back up with the Duchy of Saxony, which is important. And following that, another war with the Sorbians later on would get us a connection to Hamburg. I think that's a connection in there. And if it isn't, we'd just have to take lie back off someone. We're still waiting for our men to recharge, though. Castle walls have been built in Norden. Something that I'm not too sure if I've covered before. We have three buttons up here. The first one, the red one, just dismisses the message. The second one opens up the list, which I have covered before. The third one is the go to button. So if we click that, it'll take us to the castle of Norden and highlight it for us, which is nice. So we can see they've just built castle walls. Good on them. And uh, the militia training ground in Weimar has been completed. So the levy has increased slightly. Castle walls in Will Whittlesbach. All of this is happening because we built, started building all of this stuff at about the same time. So Whittlesbach has a few more men to pick from. That's great. We're definitely still just waiting on our levies to reinforce and recover because while we could raise almost 2,500 men, at the moment there are only 900 hanging around. Wife's pregnant. <coughs> yes, <coughs> my baldness is obviously a sign of my superior fertility. That's how it goes, right? Uh, Arnulf Carling seeks to kill Birched Carling. So Arnulf is the Duke of East Francia. I don't know who Birched Carling is, but if we come here to the Intrigue tab, click off frets to no one plots. <coughs> Excuse me. Yes, we can see he would like to kill her. He has a backup, a Bishop of Milk. 
Now, I don't know quite... Actually, it may have given us that because... Let me check. No, I'm not actually sure why it's given us that message. We don't have any holdings in East Francia anymore. We're kind of... not involved in East Francia. So he wants to kill... Let me find her. Her. Why does he want to kill her? She's not... Well, she's a carling, so she's related to him, kind of. Sometimes they just... Okay, this is why we've actually gotten a message, because she is uh, not a vassal, but she is a member of one of my vassal's courts. So she's kind of... She's in our realm, so we got the message. I don't believe that we could get him to end the plot. No, we could, because he is... Uh, he likes us a bit. So yes, we'll try and get him to end the plot. We could have tried to imprison the bishop here, but honestly, the bishop here is kind of on his way out anyway. And this plot down here, which I just didn't care about and was content to let it go. Let's have a look at our prisoners. We're currently holding Mayor Ulrich of Forzheim. We can get 25 gold for him, and he's not all that important, so let's release him. Well, not release him, but demand a ransom from him. And then we're going to check on threats. The current threat is the Duke of Bavaria. He doesn't like us. He is a 35% threat. This is a new thing in the Rajas of India. Jeez, <coughs> oh, excuse me, I keep on getting this uh, little tickle in my throat. So he's a threat. I think that's just a percentage chance that he will rebel, or if that hits 100, he will rebel, but I'm not too sure how this particular section works because it's been reintroduced in the uh, latest DLC expansion. He is a faction leader, but he only holds 20% of my men, and that will decrease markedly. And there really isn't anything that I can do to him at this stage in time. The Pope likes him too much for me to do anything there. I don't want to transfer any vassals to him. That wouldn't be smart. I could try and imprison him, but again, everything that we do has a negative opinion for everybody because it would be unjustified. So let's just let it ride. See what happens. Prince Arnolf has decided to stop scheming against a member of my realm. That's great. It's kind of what he should have done in the first place, I guess, you know. We are almost at the point where we could get a second retinue. Or a second retinue unit. Okay, we've ransomed off the mayor, so we've got 25 more gold. So we could potentially build uh, castle fortifications. Ah, the king is dead. Long live the king. The mighty King Otto of Bavaria has died of poor health. In his sleep. King Otto has steadfastly fallen asleep in the Lord at age 40. He died of poor health. Long live King Ludolf. King Ludolf has inherited his father's jawline. Alright, and uh, I think his father had a better looking crown, to be quite honest. Yes. We did not lose any titles. There are no pretenders to the throne. Quite a nice succession, to be quite honest. <sighs> we now have a new heir. If my character dies, we will play as Guntram. Guntram doesn't like us. Guntram can eat a dick. So, <clears throat> let's have a look. Open council positions. Oh my god. Wow, this is not great. Why don't people like us? Because we're slothful. But we're also gregarious, so... Ugh. Okay. The Duchess here doesn't like us because we have conflicting traits. 
The Duke doesn't like us because we're slothful and we've got one conflicting trait. And this guy just doesn't like us because we have some counties that he wants. And he's a court jester. Well, at least we uh, fulfill this particular ambition here. All right, we need councillors. Marshals. We're going to put the Count of Galraire in. Even though he doesn't like us, we might get a little opinion boost from that. Court chaplain. The Bishop of Gera. He actually does like us. Somewhat. We're going to try and replace our spy master with somebody who likes us. Oh, jeez, oh, this is a pain in the ass. The Duke of Austria, maybe? What does he want to do? He wants to improve his martial ability. Bugger him, he can be uh, my spy master. Steward. Yeah, we're going to replace that steward with... um. Bishop of Borkham. And Chancellor, we're going to replace him with Dietrich. This is a pain in the ass because all of these guys have really low opinions of us except for our Chancellor and Court Chaplain. The Spy Master in particular is a massive issue. So, what can we do? He's already got an honorary title. We're going to give him 27 and a half gold and just improve his opinion for a little bit. Oh, this is, this is a pain in the ass, and we haven't even had a child yet. Are you pregnant? She's not even pregnant. We also have negative piety, because um, before we actually got anything which would give us positive piety, we were cynical, which is a negative on that. Luckily, our prestige should start shooting up fairly quickly. We need to nominate a successor, so let's just, for the moment, find the guy who we will be playing as. Where is he? Prince Guntram. Uh, I'd really hope to have been able to, uh, you know, have gone a little bit of time before this damned thing happened. There he is, Guntram. He is now my nominated heir. I doubt that the other Dukes are going to go along with this. I really doubt it. Why is that red? Ah, whatever. Okay, and it's time to assign our dudes to places. So, first of all, we need our Dukes to like us more. Particularly, the Duke of Austria we're going to assign her someplace. Particularly Dorethea here. She is in Innsbruck, which is this province here. So let's take our Chancellor, improve diplomatic relations in Innsbruck. We can't assign the Marshal at the moment because he is currently leading troops. He's currently leading the uh, little retinue here that we have. We could go to the retinue and click on him and say resign and he'll stop leading them. But we can also just by clicking this button here, take him off it and assign him somewhere. He is going to be training troops in Oberbayern. Our steward is also going to be collecting taxes in that same province. Yep, that's good. Our spy master is leading troops, so we just take him out of a troops role. And now. We're going to make him scheme for the moment, just in case anybody has any ideas about killing me. And the good bishop here. Well, let's have a look at our religious vassals. Just real quick. Here we go. Nobody likes us a lot. Bishop Emelric here is probably the closest that we have to uh, liking us, and he's the court chaplain anyway. Maybe Prince Bishop Ludwig. He's reigning in Bremen. <sighs> it isn't great. I gotta say, it's not great. Also, he doesn't like us because we fired him. So, um... Yeah, we'll send him up there just to get a little bit of an opinion boost occasionally. 
No change in tech. We got a little bit more money, but we already spent that on uh, improving our spy master's relation of us. And you can see here a big issue. We're no longer getting about a thousand troops from our vassals because none of them like us. We're getting 116. This is why we own most of the things that we can in our demands. Okay, plots aren't really going for us here. We have a rival in Morgan Mac Girak. For reasons, I guess. Why are we rivaled with this dude? We could quite easily get him killed, but if we start plotting and get caught, that will be even worse for us. There is, however, one man that I wouldn't mind killing. Eh, no, we can't even kill him. Buckle yourselves in, boys. It may be a little bit of a rough ride. We have fulfilled the ambition to gain a title. Wonderful. That's given us a little bit more prestige, I believe. So now we can pick an ambition, and oh boy, do we have a lot to pick from. First of all, we need... a son, I think. Yes, we need a son, but we also need to improve our diplomacy. Let's just check on our wife's ambition. Our wife has no ambitions. Come on. She doesn't like us either. My God. Can we kill her? Nope. We need the fertility boost. So we're going to select the ambition of having a son. And let's see if we can get the Jews to come back. Yes, we're going to welcome the Jews back. <laughs> the Jews have been banned from your realm for some time, but strangely, this seems to have no effect on many of the malaises they were thought responsible for, such as famines and disease. By now, most Jews seem to have forgiven your offenses, and you have decided to welcome them back with open arms. And we could just expel them again. Now, importantly, that's given us an extra two points of diplomacy. Like because we were experiencing the penalty. Now let's see. We don't. We can't afford to hold a great tournament, but we can afford to hold a feast. Let's do that. So, twenty-five or so gold from the outset, and there will be additional costs throughout the event chain, but it will also help our prestige increase. So now we're just kind of sitting here. The uh, duke has. 40% of my men in his little faction. The high chief that we're monitoring has usurped some places. Ah, he won his war. Hmm. We're no longer in a position to take advantage of this war just finishing and going up here and dealing with things. We cannot afford to uh, lose men during this time. It would be terrible. I mean, we all remember what happened in East Francia when the king lost all of his men. Uh, while pondering over the guest list for the banquet, I wondered if I should invite one of my friends. Of course! Why wouldn't I invite my friends to my feast? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, the best part about preparing a feast is deciding what food stuff to serve. I must purchase venison, boar and duck, spices, wine and ale, honey for the desserts, cheeses, and perhaps even a swan or a peacock. I will spend lavishly, lose 20 gold, gain 10 prestige. Spend enough, lose 10 gold. Don't spend too much, lose 5 gold and 5 prestige. We're doing this to get prestige. Spend it lavishly. Even small amounts are good for us at this point. We also get a little bit more prestige because we're holding the uh, feast. Uh, the preparations have been made. Now I only have to send out the invitations. Okay. And we've got a message that the Duke of Austria is favoring somebody else and the Duchess is favoring somebody else. So let's just have a look. Yes. Every one of our elect accounts or elected dukes are supporting different people. So everyone has one vote. My vote is more important. So Prince Guntram is at the moment the nominated heir to the Kingdom of Bavaria. 
and he gets a plus 50 opinion against us because we chose him to be the successor. Why is he being looked after by the Prince Bishop of Bremen? Let's try and change that. We're going to give him to... Me. And King Lloydolf's opinion of King Lloydolf will increase by 20. And we've done that because uh, I don't want him to be a uh, cleric of any kind. Originally we did. Because originally we were King Otto. And sadly, King Otto has passed away at the tender age of 40. The guests have finally arrived. All is ready. The cooks have worked day and night preparing the food, and the castle has never looked lovelier. Welcome to my feast. Some of my guests did not seem satisfied with the food, but I would never have thought one of them would have complained out loud. Count Victor said a lot of nasty stuff about the food, and I couldn't help but feel irritated. If you don't have something nice to say, shut up! And uh, our trade practices knowledge in Knight of Baron has increased. Which is completely unimportant. Finally, our wife is pregnant. She wants a daughter. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, Trubador and his wife, the Trubar... What? Trubarids has arrived from Ossetania. Their performances range from vulgar satires to political servants, and everything in between, including songs and poems of courtly love. Got some options here. The default ones are, I remember those two, they came here last year. And that gives Duke Wilhelm, our spymaster, plus 15 opinion, opinion against us. Alternatively, they will be paid well, I assure you, which we uh, pay them 3.62 gold and gain the charitable trait. Which we don't already have, so that could be could be useful. The other ones, because we have the cynical trait, courtly love, pa, which is negative one intrigue for a couple of, for half a year. I hope they do not dare write any satires about me, which is available because we are wrath and gives us five prestige. That's a negative. That's alright, but 5 prestige at the moment, it would be useful, but we get that in a month. The opinion modifier is also useful, but charitable would be even better. So, excuse me, we're now charitable. Our diplomacy is at 7. Uh, the church likes us better. Other charitable people like us better. Whoop. Wow. Damn! Baron Ernst of Andex, this fellow here, cut the throat of one of my servants when the clumsy man spilled wine over his garb. This is great. I mean, okay, 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 a guy died. A guy died. Let's not, you know, neglect the fact that a man is now dead because he was a little clumsy, and that's a bad thing. But... We can now get the just trait, which is amazing. That will give us, let's see, plus two stewardship. Yes, please. Plus one learning. I need as much learning as I can get. My vassals like me an additional 10 points. People with the just trait like me 10 points. And uh, people who are arbitrary don't. But people who are arbitrary don't matter. Lose seven gold. Or gain the arbitrary trait and a little bit of rebellion risk in Oberbayern. And we're also going to be imprisoning this fellow here. What does he own? The Barony of Andex. Where the hell is the Barony of Andex? Oh! It's the other Barony in Oberbayern. Imprison him. And just pause the game quickly. Let's see, we've now picked up the just trait. Now, if we're lucky... Come on, there we go. Uh, let's rank the Dukes. There we go. So all of the Dukes, except for the Bavarian guy, who we don't care about, now like us. That's great. That's wonderful. 
Uh, everyone drank and were happy except uh, Mayor Dietrich, who refused more wine. This insulting gesture means he does not appreciate my hospitality. How dare he insult me! So, we get an opinion negative against him, he doesn't get one against us. So he will still like us at 100 here, but we already have an opinion of 25 of him. That will go down to 5 when we refresh. Yep, there we go, because we're insulted. He insulted us. Uh, Baron Walther spoke up and told everyone how great the food at my feast was. Bishop Walther, sorry. I was really glad someone was kind enough to say something nice about the food, given how hard I had worked to ensure that food was the best part of a feast. Okay, so little opinion modifiers there. That's nice. Yep. Even though he's not a great cleric. Slothful, lustful, proud. Right. And uh, Count Wickman of Gelrare has founded the Duke Wilhelm II for Bavaria faction. Okay, now here's what we were looking for, and what you always get at the end of a feast, but this is the important thing. The last of the guests has returned home, and everyone agreed it was this year's greatest feast. We gain 10 prestige. We lose the little buff that we had, which gave us 0 0.05 prestige a month. And every one of our vassals gets plus 10 opinion against us for two years. Every one of them who showed up, which was everybody this time. That's great. That's very good. Because now, let's just order them by rank again properly. Everybody, well, we've got a few negatives, but mainly because we imprisoned some dude. We still can't revoke his title because it's not allowed. And our maximum military from our vassals has crept up a little bit, which is good. Always good. If we had thought that King Otto might have been on the way out at the tender age of 40, we would have slammed this through and tried to get limited uh, crown authority. Patience is a virtue, but sometimes it gets on my nerves. My half-brother Guntram never loses his temper, always waiting patiently for a chance to retaliate. Uh, good, I cannot abide recklessness, which gives him the patient trait, which is positive in every way, shape, and form. And he likes us a little bit better for two years. We also lose five prestige, but we just gained ten, so I'm fine with that. Or, I'll bring out the fire in him, which is a uh, 50% chance he becomes wrath, 40% chance he loses the patient trait, because he's got that now, there it is, because this event fired up, or 10% chance of nothing. I prefer him to be patient. It's, it's just better. It's plus one to everything except Marshall, plus 20% defensive ability. You know, why wouldn't you? Okay, why am I monitoring her? I don't remember why I'm monitoring her. So I'm going to um, stop monitoring her. I know why I was monitoring Ada here, because she has the strong genetic trait. And I was monitoring Zistabor for when he dies. So, let's keep this going. Just slowly acquiring things. I would like to lose Cynical, but it's not so bad. I mean, the Pope won't like us, but, you know. The Pope can do what he wants. As long as he doesn't excommunicate me or something. So, again, we're kind of just waiting on the, uh, what was it? We're just going to wait a bit. I mean, we're, we're fairly young. I know mean, I said that about Otto several times, and he died when he was only 40 years old. But we just need to consolidate by waiting most of this time. Consolidate and just deal with it. Hmm... We really do need to get out of uh, the particular Crown Authority laws that we have, just because they're not wonderful. Luckily, the longer we reign, the more people like us due to the short reign modifier decreasing and eventually turning into a long reign bonus. 
Just had some low priority messages show up. Countess Wickman of Gelrare is rumoured to be involved in an assassination attempt on Countess Inga. I don't believe we can imprison him for that. No, because it's only a rumour. Uh, the High Chief made somebody marshal, and the Count of Tyrol accepted the Duke of Austria's claim to his wars, because this uh, revolt is still going on. <coughs> this has really thrown a bit of a cog in the works. I mean, more so than losing Brunswick. It's actually kind of annoying. We have a daughter, Clara Lodolfinger. She is a sickly child, so she may not last, you know, she may not last long. Her wife is fine from the look of it. She has fulfilled her ambition. Oh, that's King Otto and Gormelia, actually. Why are we there? Oh, that's my half-sister, because uh, my mother was still pregnant when King Otto died. So, my mistake there. She's unimportant. I don't care about that too much. Because our wife, Queen Inge, still has the ambition to have a daughter. And because she's pregnant, when that finishes, one of our two ambitions will uh, be fulfilled. And that's a good thing. We could speed up the timer a little bit, but I'm actually having fun playing at this particular speed. Even if not much is happening, we're still clicking around, checking things out, all that sort of stuff. Okay, so because we're slowly trickling in with our reinforcements in the uh, demands levies, these numbers are decreasing. You can also see the uh, threat levels here, or something, I don't know. We could hold a summer fair, we could go on a pilgrimage, and we could borrow some money. We're not going to borrow some money because uh, I need the opinions. Or we could hold a grand tournament. We can't actually do that because we don't have enough prestige. So, it's about the right time. Let's hold a summer fair. I've given the order that a summer fair should be held in Oberbayern this summer. This should make the peasants happy. So, let's see how that event chain goes for us as we enter into this lovely time of enforced peace. Gun trams coming along nicely. The cruel trade isn't great, but uh, the temperate and patient trade should be more than enough for that. Even if the church frowns upon jugglers and calls them glee men, I enjoy their humorous and bawdy acts during the summer of a summer fair. One of them can juggle nine apples at the same time. Plus ten prestige, minus five piety. The church does not like fun things. The bishop gets a negative opinion of us. If the church doesn't like it, should I really like it? Lose five prestige, gain five piety. And my steward will like me a bit more for five years. We might take, take that one. Yeah, done. Wonderful. A daughter was born to King Ludolf of Bavaria and Queen Inge of Bavaria named Hedwig. She is a sickly child. Wow. So she may die. We'll have to see. It, it's a random thing. <sighs> yep, so now we're just kind of hoping that we get the wife pregnant again. Militia training ground has been built in Groningen. This one up here. Excellent. Excellent. And, yep, you can see now we're going to get a little bit more uh, garrison and levy from that. That's good. We have such a good martial stat. And uh, the keep should be built in Munchen within, what, August, September? Yep. Under a month. So that's pretty good. Marshal Count Wickman caught the peddlers selling stolen goods red-handed. Execute them publicly. Minus 10 uh, revolt risk and a 25% chance of gaining cruel. I do not want the cruel trait. That would be a bad thing at the moment because it has a negative vassal opinion thing. 
or seize his goods and lock him up, we gain five gold. Nice and easy. Those peddlers. Thieving scum, a lot of them. Righteous imprisonment. Count Wickman of Galraer. Because we have finally discovered his plot to see the Countess Inga of Galraer dead. You can see here, he wants his wife dead. And he wishes to become King of Frisia. So. Does he like, he doesn't like us and I believe he is a faction leader. Let's just check that. Count Wickman. Indeed, he is a faction leader, but he is also my marshal. Hmm. We don't really have much in the way of marshals who are better than him. So we're just going to demand... Well, actually, we may not demand that he end his plot. Let's just check him out. Why would he want his wife dead? Probably because she hasn't given him a son. Yes, that will be it. She hasn't given him a son, and she's getting on to the stage where she's past... past childbearing age. I'm fine with that. Offer if you want, mate. That's cool. How's he doing with this? Yes, and he's got 106% power because this woman here is on board. I'm fine with that. So, that'll eventually happen. We also have a claim on the county of Armagnac, which is all the way down here somewhere. So we don't particularly care about that. Oh. The peddlers are loading their wares and the merchants are taking down their stalls. The jugglers, strolling players and other entertainers are preparing to leave. The slum affair is over for this year. It was great fun while it lasted. Gained 10 prestige. And the keep has been built in Munchen. Much, much. So that has dramatically increased the size of my levy here. Which is wonderful. Let's see if we've got any other events. We could go on a grand hunt. Got a message here that the uh, High Chief has inherited a county. You know, we should go on a great hunt. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to go on a grand... I know we're doing a lot of these events in fairly quick succession, but there's not much else to actually do at this stage while we're just waiting for our... Um, well, to come into it, basically. I've given the order for a grand hunt to be organized in Oberbayern. I will find the white stag. It's a little racist, isn't it? I mean, I guess... Hmm. A white heart has been seen in the north of Uberbayan. I am told it is a heart of ten, and the biggest deer ever st ever seen. I believe that this refers to the number of points on their antlers. I'm not quite sure about that. I will find no joy in killing such a proud animal. The queen dislikes us, but we gain 25 piety. I will send out our best hunter. Mayor Dietrich's opinion of us changes. He is our chancellor, but he already really likes us. Gain 20 prestige, or this is my kill. Now, this is a bit risky. Got a 65% chance of nothing happening. A 10% chance of us gaining the diligent trait, which is amazing. Absolutely amazing, and we don't already have that, so wow. 10% chance of just getting plus one marshal. 10% chance of getting the wounded trait, which is minus one marshal, minus one health. Or a 5% chance of getting the maimed trait, which is minus 2 martial, minus 2 health. Women and homosexual characters like us less, but other maimed people like us more. And we get 10 prestige. We get a little bit of extra health. Uh, I'm not too sure what base health is. I believe it might be 3 or 2, but we get 0.5 for being a brilliant, brilliant strategist. And I'm going to be honest here. Our nominated heir, Guntram, is fairly close to, you know, aging up to being an adult, so I think the risk fair. Cross your fingers. And I don't think anything happened. So we got that 65%. That's alright. 
That's fine. I've really liked that diligent thing, though. But no, no, it's good. We didn't get wounded. We're all good. The Lothringians are having a revolt. It's a fairly sizable revolt from the look of it. Ooh, jeez, what's it for? Uh, they're attacking King Louis the Great in the Lothringian Civil War for elective monarchy. Is that all of them? Let's just see. Wow, okay, there's a, there's a few things going on here. Let's find out where the king is. We just want one of the king's provinces. So we go to the Duchy of Luxembourg. We find that he owns the County of Luxembourg. He currently has a truce with um, the King of East Francia for another year. Defending against Adelhard of Lothringian Revolt for that civil war for the elective monarchy. And he is defending against Duke Magenfredo of Lombardy in the revolt against the rule of King Louis the Great. Which is him. Where's Lombardy? Is that this one down here? No, there's Lombardy. Ah, right, so... Lombardy is just sitting here. We, I don't think we can get to that. No, we're blocked from that by this little patch of mountains. And we don't even have a cast spell eye. But maybe we could take advantage of a Lothringian revolt. Let's find the guy. So, we have claims. Because these four counties, which are highlighting here, they're de jure part of the Kingdom of Bavaria. However, if we do declare this war, we will be hostile with the Lothringians as well. And any allies that he chooses to call into the war. And he is a Carling, so he has substantial allies. Whereas the... This guy can't call in any of his allies. Mmm. I would like to take some of these places. And he does he does have quite a fair amount of lands. This is his up here, this this is his here, and this is all of his here. Except for um the county of Venezia in there. Which is a whole different kettle of fish. Let's look at the ledger. So we want to go to independent realms. There we go. All of them by army size. I reckon he's maybe got 1,000 men. Looks like I reckoned wrong. Where is he? The Lothringian Revolt. No doubt I've passed him several times. He's got 2,300 men. That's a lot. We've got 500 plus 1,200 here, and I don't want to raise vassal levies for this. That would be a poor idea. We'll see how he goes. Because if he goes and, you know, loses most of his armies, then we can definitely take advantage of him. And we'll probably just try and get Khan 10 or something, as that would put us into contact with Croatia, open up some other options for us. We do want to take one of these counties at some point, just because, at the moment, they're becoming part of the Kingdom of Italy. In another 75 years, that'll be part of Italy, and we will no longer have claims on it for being Bavaria. If we take one county, we stop that timer. I think. And that's because we'll have part of a duchy. See, the duchy of, what is it, Corinthia? Yep, Corinthia. Because it is all part of whoever is holding the Kingdom of Italy title, and none of it is part of Bavaria, it's being incorporated. So if we take part of that, like Cantan or maybe Achillea here, then that would help out significantly, and we could probably take Achillea pretty easily, because it's headed up by this. I'd prefer to take the whole thing, but we can't do that. We don't have the Casa Spelli for it. So, oh, that's not great. Count Victor of Anhalt has decided that he's an asshole. We're going to increase his opinion of us. 
and hopefully that will get him out of this particular plot. I don't like anybody having over 50% of my men. Fortunately, they're not the kind of revolt who um, revolts easily. An independence revolt will revolt quite early on. Oh, that's right, we're hunting things. The dogs have caught scent of a boar in a forest. This is the chance of getting a mighty boar slain. Uh, the peasants will finish it. Five prestige, 70% chance of nothing, 30% chance of getting the craven trait. We can't pick that. We cannot pick that. We will not pick that. I refuse to pick that. I will face it alone with my spear. This is the exact same thing that we just faced. So, second roll of the dice. And we got plus one marshal. Very nice. Not the best result by far, but not the worst result by far. And we're getting a lot of messages about the High Chief of um, Sorbia up here. Or Sorbs. Whatever they want to call it. Additionally, the Count of Schwaben, Schwaben has thrown his lot in with the East Francian Revolt. I don't think we have any Cassus Belli against him. Also, he's not independent. So, yeah, we don't because we have to declare an Adelhard here. Hmm. Great hunt is over for now. This was a truly noble endeavor and a true challenge for our martial abilities. Ten prestige, thanks. We could also hold a feast again, but, uh, you know, don't particularly want to. It'd be, it'd cost us some gold and we're, we should try and get a little bit more gold at this stage. And that's the same reason why we won't go on a pilgrimage. I don't believe that the pilgrimages are all that important for Christian characters. If you're playing as a Muslim character, going on the Hajj is amazingly important. You need to do it. it. It's just insanely good. Assuming that they didn't change it with the new Decadence rollout. What's happened here? Oh, nothing. That's just what it looks like normally, I guess. Ugly border. Speaking of the uh, Muslim rulers, previously the decadence mechanic, which definitely needed to be reworked, and I don't know what the new decadence mechanic is like, but previously, any unlanded members of male members of your dynasty gave you points towards your decadence. Let's just go and find the Idrisids here. See, this fellow here, Sheikh Salah of the Salahid family, has a decadence of 27%. You can see, because that's above 25, he's getting some minor penalties. When that's below 25, you get buffs. Anyway, you accrue decadence due to things like... Or you used to accrue decadence due to things like... Um, having unlanded male members of your dynasty. Or... Having insufficiently landed members of your dynasty. In my play, I was the emperor of, you know... Lots of places. So, the uh, members of my male dynasty were kicking up a lot of decadence because just giving them a county or a sheikdom somewhere wasn't enough. They wanted kingdoms, which, no, you don't get my kingdoms, they're mine. And that sort of stuff. So, the solution to this was to imprison them. Up a second. A group of hedge knights has come to visit Bavaria. Mayor Dietrich has met with them and asked for my reply. Welcome them with a lavish feast. Plus 10 prestige, minus about 20 gold. Welcome them reluctantly. Plus 1 prestige, minus 5 gold. Refuse them access. We're not going to do that because look at all those opinion mods. Oh, I'm going to say reluctantly because we're going to save some money. And they're hedge knights. No one cares about the hedge knights. Mayor Leutpold of Dachau has died. That's fine. Anyway, so the solution to the decadence thing was to imprison your male family members, which you could do with no penalty because the Muslims could do that in this game. However, you couldn't do that to your sons. So you had to just send your sons off to die, or assassinate your sons somehow, and all this ridiculous thing. It, it just got insane. 
Anyway, the Hedge Knights have participated in a minor tournament together with within our Knights in Oberbayern. Sadly, one of those landless vagabonds has been severely injured. Uh, we can pay for some medication, so five gold, and we give him some headache pills, and we get a little bit of piety from that, or we allow him to stay at the uh, castle, which is minus five prestige, plus five piety. We can do that one. Prestige isn't as important as uh, just knocking this above the negative and gold. Come on. Gold's good. We could build a new level of castle walls in Munchen, and we're going to actually do that immediately. We're getting quite a lot of gold from these places. It's very nice. How's this guy's war going? 35% in his favor. Uh, may you live in harmony and contentment. I have discovered a plot where Count Victor of Anholt seeks to fabricate a claim on the Duchy of Saxony. Well, this is fortunate for us. Well, it was fortunate, but Count Victor has now ceased being uh, a member of a faction. So let's just find him. He's still, this guy's still trying to kill off his wife. Count Victor. Dude. End your plot. Excellent. Now, I don't believe I can usurp the Duchy of Bavaria off this bloke. Hmm. If we get a little bit more piety, we could attempt to request a claim on this title from the Pope. He may or may not. Well, he won't go along with that right now, probably because he likes this guy more than he likes me. Fine. Be that way. I would really like to get a war going with the Lothringians here. The good news is that well, it's not really good, but if the Lafringians lose... Well, if this civil war ends, our war would also end. You can see here, uh, if that conflict ends, our war will end too. We'd have to go for either Kanten or Achillea. Achillea would be easier to take, but we wouldn't be able to hold it. We'd have to give it to somebody. Let's just have a quick quick check of that uh, Cassus Belli again. Yes, we we wouldn't even be able to give it to somebody. The current Prince Bishop would retain it. He would just become our vassal. And that's the same for all of these, I believe. Oh, no. No, we gain these particular counties. That is probably because... Let me just check. No, no, we just gain them. For reasons. So. Hmm. He doesn't particularly like us. He's also a wicked priest. Anyway, we're probably going to wrap this up about now. Still waiting for our damn military to recover. We have no fleet. Right news is fine. Really like to get... You see, all of our technology has decreased significantly because we have a terrible learning stat. So that's not great. We're just going to have to sit back, see what we can do, We're not going to execute this guy. We could ransom him for 25 gold, but we imprison him for a reason. Because he murdered some dude. If we need to, we can release him for free and get five opinion with everybody. But I actually think we're doing alright for opinion at this stage. Some of, some of them don't like us, but that's understandable. The Duke of Bavaria is an asshole and will never like us. But yeah... We're doing all right. We're getting there. We're getting there. <sighs> I would really like a son, though. All right, so that's been this episode. If you've got any questions, feel free to ask. Throw us a like if you liked it. And, uh, yeah, I've been Sub. 
you've been yourselves. Later.